the thing that kicked off the year last January was um, post Me Too and Harvey Weinstein was the Golden Globes, the blackout, and that was had a profound effect on fashion on the red carpet for some time. So for about six months, all we saw were those women bonded together wearing black. And what a powerful statement it made. You know, you can't underestimate the force of that union of those women coming together and what they had to say through fashion, which was um, incredibly positive and powerful. Uh, and now we're starting to see that break down a little. Um, still a lot of blacks being worn on the red carpet, but also white, the colour of hope and um, new beginnings. I think the top trends were mainly based on things that were really difficult to wear. Um, I'm not sure why, but fashion kind of threw up all these very tricky trends. So from anything from neon to clothes that were really XXXL, like enormous, um, layered. And so you sort of, well, girls walk down the catwalk like mountains and mountains and mountains of clothes. So the, there, there was that, there was, um, the flip side of that was very, very wearable, real life clothes coming through. So, you know, a hundred shades of beige, um, everything brown, uh, leopard print was massive um, and continues to be and will be for next year too. So the new neutral, they're calling it. Um, so it was a, it was a, a, a fashion as two stories so the very hard to wear and unwearable stuff and the very very ultra wearable attainable accessible stuff No, I think it's been more of a styling um, uh, tack for, for collections to sort of stand out and make these very oversized clothes and oversized statements, if you like. Um, but yes, whether it's been picked up by the general public, I'm not sure. Although I think in general, uh, coats, and this is the season of coats, are a lot of them sort of more oversized than you would normally wear. I mean, jackets and things are coming sort of bigger and looking a bit cooler. I think it's that crossover of menswear to women's wear that's been on the cards for, for many years now. Um, and the advent of the trouser suit and the soft power trouser suit that um, has been worn by Michelle Obama, for example, a huge icon in fashion now. Um, Post White House, she is sort of 
turning up on her on her 12 stop book tour um, in every you know soft trouser suit you could possibly imagine and, and making it look fantastic too you know she's definitely um, become an enormous um, selling tool of fashion as well and um, also a huge supporter of young designers um, bringing lots of uh, new brands to the table that we wouldn't necessarily know about. 